shows of death. Hey everybody, Folza here. If you don't know who I am, my IGN is Camp That Bush, and I am currently in Masters, but I've peaked Grandmaster 500 LP. I specialize in abusing various forms of vision, such as bushes, blue wards, and vision pockets, to climb. Today, I'll be showing you what I think is one of the most satisfying ways to bait enemies, using blue wards. If you don't know why this works, this is how placing a blue ward into a bush looks like from the enemy point of view. And since blue wards can be easily killed for 15 gold in one auto attack, why wouldn't the enemy approach the bush to claim their reward, walking straight into your awaiting arms? You can also do this with control wards by placing them outside of bushes, but that's a blatant bait and will only work against players like Akali mains. Most people will do as this Camille does and just stare at you like, how brain dead do you think I am? Overall, while the blue ward bait is quite simple, there are some nuances to it which can greatly increase its effectiveness. This is because in higher elos, enemies will suspect something is up if you drop a blue ward directly next to them while they are clearing a wave and know they are on full vision. Unless they are autopiloting, they will think that the ward is too free and will think twice before approaching the bush. Therefore, it is important to make it look like you are trying to ward that brush without the enemy noticing. To do this, I suggest using the ward while the enemy does not know they are in vision, or by placing the ward a good distance away from where they are so they will hear the sound bite and think it's safe because the ward is not being placed directly next to them, which can sometimes be seen as suspicious. Now, we'll cover a few quick examples to show these techniques. In this first example, Talon shoves the wave, and assuming that he will push up, I blue ward the bush right after he drops from vision, while he is still a decent distance away, so it's not directly on top of him and there's a smaller chance that he will suspect it being a bait. He enters the bush, and I get an easy kill. This second example is against the same Talon, but a few minutes later. Because I had just killed him with a blue ward, I know that he will be more alert than normal, so this time I make sure to place the ward relatively far, near the end of the audio range, so he comes beckoning to the call of 15 free gold. I start backing just in case he didn't notice or thinks it's too suspicious after just dying 3 minutes ago, but he takes the bait anyway. In this last example against Varus, I make sure to place the blue ward before he comes within vision of the minions, so he thinks he was not on vision when the ward was placed. There are a couple things to remember while using this technique, like how you are unable to enter this topside bush without being seen if the tower is still up. So, if you do plan on baiting out of this bush, you'll either have to wait until the tower is gone, or flash into it like the bouse. Keep in mind that this is not true for the bot side counterpart, and that you can enter that bush without being seen. Just make sure you step into it like I do here, clicking into the bottom wall to stay as close as possible to the wall, lowering the chance the tower spots you. That's all I have for today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments, on Reddit, Discord, or Twitch. Have a great day everyone, I'll see you around.